Hi everyone. This is the last video of how to draw Bob. And this lesson we're going to focus on getting the tones right. So this is where our tonal scale comes in handy. Now the tonal scale is something that we did a few weeks ago and it was a way of matching tones. So in a tonal scale of one to 10, one is the white of a page and 10 is as dark as you can possibly go. Usually it's black, but it's pretty much as dark as you can go with the material that you're using. In this case, I have a 2B pencil, so I've got to press really hard to get a 10. That would be a two, and that's a three, four, five, So, let's have a look at Bob. Last lesson you may have noticed that I said that there is only a couple of spots where there's an actual tone one. And remember, one is the white of the page. It has no shading. If you guessed it was the sparkle in the eye or the reflection and the reflection or the glint of the metallic glasses and the glass, then you are correct. Actually, that's three spots. So basically, anything that's shiny like metal or the eye which is quite wet or glass will create a very white reflection and everything else will be grey. Even the white of the eye is actually darker. It would be about, this area here would be about a number two. And this here would be probably a half, a one and a half, somewhere in between. So your job now is to match the tones exactly. I recommend you start with the eye. Looking at that, to me that looks like a nine or a ten. So we can start with a very dark tone. But before you do that, don't forget to put some little shapes where the sparkle or glint of the eyes and then you can start shading the rest in. Press really hard so you can get that tone of one of rather nine or ten. You can keep going with that but then you can start around the eye. And perhaps put in the white of the eye which is very very light but it's not a one you can even use your eraser to lighten it by dabbing it very gently and of course you've got this. so make sure that you get the tones right. Now, remember that trick I told you about? Squint and blur. Try it now, squint your eyes and blur. Is that tone match to that? Pretty much, you could go a bit darker. So keep going on with that. Here is one that I completed yesterday. Well, it's not quite complete, but I've almost finished the eye. Notice how the tones make the eye look quite round and three-dimensional, like a ball in a socket, which is exactly what an eyeball is. It's a ball in a socket. Give it a go. Take your time. It might take a lesson or two. And once you finish, upload it to Canvas so I can have a look. I'll print it off for you and we can paste it in your book when you're back at school. Bye now.